why we struggle to overcome temptation. One thing the scripture teaches us is that some erroneous behaviors are embedded in our bloodline and need deliverance from God. This is referred to as iniquity. Signs of this is when we try to remove an issue such as anger, lust, greed, depression, anxiety, etc. in our own will time and time again. Yet it seems like we never get the breakthrough, often to one's discouragement. Mother, granddad, etc. all dealt with the same issue. This is in the DNA of a person. Jeremiah 17, 1. The sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron, and with the point of a diamond, it is graven upon the table of their heart, and upon the horns of your altars. The biblical remedy is to humble ourselves before the Lord, and ask for his blood to cleanse us in our blood. It is through the blood sacrifice of Jesus that overcomes every legal right, even those granted from a parent, grandparent, great-grandparent, or great-great-grandparent. We do not blame our relatives, but our posture must be to take individual ownership in lowliness and persistence before the Lord in order for him to break the generational curse. The word states in Numbers 14, 18. The Lord is long-suffering, and of great mercy forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. We are born with it, but we are called, through a relationship with Jesus, to be delivered from it. He breaks chains and sets captives free when we say, God, I can't do it, but you can liberate me. He will do it. Keep crying out, but we will be forced to gain intimacy with God and lay things down in the process. Let us agree with this prayer from Robert Henderson. As I stand before your courts, I thank you that the judgments of God, based on what the blood of Jesus is speaking, comes against every iniquitous issue that would be trying to control me. I ask that any legal right that the enemy is making would be revoked, and that I would be freed from these things, in Jesus' name. Amen.